But once upon a time agencies were in the kind of creative driving seat, you know, we'd, we'd pump out the ad, people would enjoy the ad and they'd go buy the product. Nowadays, consumer culture feels like it's racing ahead of the place where traditional agencies are. It feels like the great ideas, the genuine cut through ideas, aren't coming from kind of highly paid professionals. They're coming from highly skilled amateurs. And the internet is just absolutely changing the kind of battleground for those ideas. And so when I look to the future, what you need to do is you need to engineer in an agility that was never there before. You need to engineer in a kind of speed and a pace um, into agencies, which as, as much as I try, I can't see how you can do with 350 mouths to feed and kind of seven floors and an office in every country. You have to reduce the agency to almost its core again and build it out. You have to reduce it to that nucleus of senior, talented people. The, the best ad agencies aren't creating ads anymore. They're creating these kind of creative business ideas with the brands that they partner. And then what you need on the other side of the table, I think, is almost like the Hollywood producer. Because the right answer is not the 30 second ad and the traditional kind of TV department. It might be a long form film, it might be a video, it might be a, a viral song. And what you need is these multi-skilled producers who can execute any which way, not just a traditional road. And now the battle will not be won on craft skills. The battle for businesses is to create genuinely cut through ideas at the heart of their cultures and the opportunity for agencies is to connect with those briefs. Not the marketing brief, the channel brief, the ad brief, but the how do I beat the next guy in a rapidly commoditizing world where the consumer is ahead of me brief. Those are the briefs we need and those are the briefs that if we're smart and agile and senior and collaborative in our cultures will knock out the park. The, I think, you know, when you, when you look forward, the, the problem with the big agencies is they, there's quite a lot of baggage that they've collected along the way that, um, you know, some are, some are shedding, um, you know, through the kind of recession. But the danger is that as the communications environment has changed in the last 20, 30 years, as this has got quicker, as it's become more multidisciplinary, as it's become more digital. So almost these added functions have kind of been welded on and, you know, the danger is you look a bit kind of, you know, Frankenstein-like um, with a lot of, you know, fairly questionable appendages. And when I look forward, what you want to do is you want to you start again. You want to almost boil down uh, the nature of a creative agency to its most valuable parts. And every, every which way I look at that, that's a, you know, that's a business savvy, but an ability to apply creativity to business, not just a marketing plan. There's talented people in the agency world, but they're soft, often kind of so weighed down by, you know, the structures kind of created over the last 20, 30 years that there's such talent in the kind of younger ranks. There are people who know so much more about digital and social and experiential than, than any one of the kind of 10, 15 year place because that world has changed absolutely. But so often it's structures that, that kind of pin them down and structures that inhibit that kind of collaborative creativity, which I think agencies of the future have to realise again. I used to work on Orange and we used to talk about who are opinion leaders for a technology brand. And the obvious thing is to say 18 to 25 year old kids, people who've grown up with it. But actually we found some of the people with the most interesting opinions were 50, 60, 70 year old people who talked about what had been left behind in culture, talked about the fact that we no longer knew our neighbours, talked about the fact that actually society had kind of broken down and there were big holes left. And when I look to the future of agencies, I'm tempted to look a bit to an era which is widely discredited now. And you know, like you look at a thing like Mad Men and you, you judge by its cover and we're no longer smoking in the office and you know, there's no longer that overt sexism in the office. But actually, that sense of anything's possible, that sense of we're standing on the verge of remarkable kind of questions and that we can genuinely dent culture with the things that we do, that's what we need to regain, because we can and we should and we need to. One of the big questions at the moment is uh, the kind of question of social media, the, 
this thing that has been the creation of kind of consumers and the general public and you know personal passions being harnessed by businesses and and agencies which sense an opportunity and it's easy to to kind of see it as a almost a fad it's easy to see it as a thing that everybody is kind of jumping on the bandwagon of but i actually see it in a more fundamental way that i think that it's not about social media it's about using media in a more social way and it's about building brands in a more social way. I think, you know, the, the genie's out the bottle. You know, people are on the insides of conversations, whether we like it or not. And actually, it's a tremendous opportunity for us to create the kind of ideas that, with a scale and a participation that no one has the budgets for anymore. You know, the dust has settled on the kind of, you know, the huge financial issues that people kind of faced. Um, technology, you know, people are beginning to kind of get more comfortable with. And there's this sense also that, you know what, like, let's not walk away from the, from the TV ad and the, and the media buy. That, that actually, you know what, it wasn't all for turning. It, it wasn't all for change. It's fine. No one's really found us out. And I, and I, and I think, you know what? That, that's a fine kind of mentality for another two, three years. But I think the thing it underestimates fundamentally is where people are at. And I always thought that, you know, brands almost felt like were these, it was like walking up to the Vatican. And then you walk up to the Vatican and it's this huge door. And you stand at the foot of this door and there's this huge brand that towers above you and you, whether you know it or not, you find yourself kind of, you know, dipping your head in reverence. And I feel that's where brands used to be. There was a reverence towards them. We had a kind of, it was like you respected your parents. Like, it was like you respected brands. They knew what they were doing. And now I just think people don't. I think people have found them out. They've pulled the curtain back and they've seen who's standing behind it and they're never going to forget. And I think the really interesting thing is not the next two, three years and the kind of falling back on the traditional and the shutting the curtain rapidly and hoping no one really noticed. But the real interesting moves will be made by nimble, creative, innovative individuals and cultures who know that there's no going back, who know that you can't put the genie back in the bottle, who know that the future's to be invented whether people are looking at the moment or not.